Welcome everybody. I believe this is episode five. We are two episodes away from the mandatory meetup, and I am watching Gilzor, who with Mad Dog Nils, doing fairly well actually. Team UK. Um, he hears somebody fighting an Enderman. And that might be Mr. Nils himself. No, somebody else. Weird. We got a couple of fights going down last time. I actually wonder what Flues is up to, unfortunately. His partner, Frostbreath, uh, is no longer in the game. It looks like Flues is going to be trying to level up his gear, but he is a literal one-shot right now, unfortunately. He does need to acquire some apples and heal himself up uh, before he can even think about engaging in a prolonged fight. Uh, Ginger, I don't believe, should be soloing, but I think his partner's internet uh, lagged out and might have just abandoned the game, period. I'm not too sure. Ginger uh, seems to be playing as if it's a solo game. Correct me if I am wrong. Uh, I did not see his partner die. I did see his partner log off. Uh, you know what? I can always just uh, jump on in and just ask him, I suppose. Ginger, did your partner die? No, he's he's uh, lagged out right now. Oh, okay. He's in here. He just can't Hi. open Minecraft. Oh, cool. Yeah, very the cool. Good old DDoS <laughs> attack. Wait, Scruffin, did those people really not see me? Did you see that? Mm hmm? Which? You probably didn't see it. N Nako and OU passed mm. right by me. Oh, they were being chased, that they so were... maybe they weren't. Oh, I thought that they were Spoilers. sparing me. Spoilers. <laughs> okay, right, well, Kappa. get out of here. <laughs> so rude. Yeah, you deserve that fall damage, dude. I push you down myself. <laughs> so rude. Alright, let's see what Timon is doing. Looks like everybody is still just gearing up right now. We might have a very slow episode on our hands here, guys. As the teams want to put themselves in best position, everybody's sitting healthily uh, right around the eight level that you want to be at uh, before you chew on an apple uh, of the golden variety. Looks like some teams have even split up because I don't see Timon's partner anywhere here, so I'm assuming he is um, somewhere else just acquiring more levels so that they can stack more enchants together. They do have. A fair amount of books, I believe. I want to say. He has some diamonds, too. He could make three diamond swords. That's very possible. Uh, who have we not checked in on a while? Everybody is just having fun. Look at those pretty pics that they all got here. I want to see what they are cooking inside the furnace. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Is there any diamonds out here? Are they still in that ravine that they were in before? Huh. I wonder I wasn't really looking at them. <laughs> Let's see if Nico and... Uh, that looks like they're getting some more apples here. They've got plenty of gold. Or they got some gold. They, got, they have a non-zero amount of gold. And uh, they were robbed a little bit, but they did get the kills back. So there's also that. This looks like this was the original setup, and I th think I want to say they got their enchantment table back, uh, but I can't be sh too sure. They may have lost it. <coughs> it might have been claimed by Gilzor. Yeah, actually, it looks like they don't have an enchantment table anymore. All they can do is uh, have books to stack together. How unfortunate. Uh, Gilzor might... Team Gilzor, Mad Dog Nils might have actually like three enchantment tables. So he's got one there. 
and Nils got two. Yeah, they've got three all together. That's hilarious. From different teams. Day two! You can start a farm now. I would totally start a farm. Just cook some potatoes, get some levels. But he's getting plenty of levels from social spawning zombies here. Doing a little jiggy, a little dance. Watch his, uh, the melee technique that he's using. He's actually going to stop the water flow. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but I guess it'll help him control uh, the zombies, make the zombies more predictable and less random, which is ideally what he wants, but this skeleton might want a piece of him. Uh, nope, nope, he changed his mind. Forget it. That guy looks scary. He just killed like six people. Oh my goodness. I'm not going in there. He's mad, I say. Mad like a ravaging dog. And oh, there you go. Now <laughs> Sugar is on the lookout. It's like, yeah, there's <laughs> nobody coming in. Just good times are being had here. Do they have apples? They have some apples. They should go get some more apples. Seems like everybody is lacking in apples. Um, I mean, these trees will give apples. And I'm trying to see if there is a swamp near them, but no. See if Flues every everybody needs apples is the thing right now. Flues has made himself a, a nice choppy axe here. So good times will be had. Uh, I'm gonna go try right in the dark, dark forest here, try to acquire some of them apples. Not a bad idea. Um I don't think he needs to break the leaves to do anything here. Um if they're not the right kind of tree then the leaves will just decay on their own. But it would have been funny. Okay, let's see what, I can't believe Zarky's still alive. He's engaged in a couple of fights already and he's just been sticking around. It looks like they found, yeah, this was um, where OU and Copper Walrus and them, they all fought when Copper Walrus stole, first stole that enchantment table and exchanged hands for the first time, but not for the last time. And it looks like they're going to try to sniff out the trail, but I don't think there's any good signs of where people disappeared off to, especially since uh, three teams are fighting here, and then they all split off into different directions afterwards. Uh, some of them went to heaven, some of them ran off to do other things. Uh, oh, well, actually, this looks like a trap chest to me. I want I want them to look into this chest. Come on, I'm pretty sure Fairy put this here. They're just gonna walk past it. Whoa, people were just here. Please open this chest. I want to see what's in it. There's no way it could be trapped, dude. It's a record. Sweet. He take, he take the record? <laughs> yeah, he took the record. Nice. I think uh, somebody did find them in uh, a dungeon somewhere along the way, so. I did see at least two records so far in, in the Silverfish dungeon especially. There were some records in there. Um, <laughs> <Snake> goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Timon and Tommy still on the ground getting some levels, stacking themselves up. Timon probably feeling a little bit naked with his gold count previously so low, but now that we are back on a real map, the meat cat has gotten back into the groove of things and now has broken into 100. So, just two episodes, he's gone up to like from 50 to 100. Like, one episode from 50 to 100. It's ridiculous. I, I don't know how he does it, and it's interesting to see that he couldn't do it in a normal, uh, in, in the crazy terrain. And it looks like his sword's got fire aspect on it, too. My goodness back over here. Yeah, that is uh, a scary sword indeed. He's going to try to level up and I don't know what else you're going to put on it, dude. Uh, going to probably... Oh, wow. Is he going to go for a power 4 bow? Uh, they were talking about this before, how many levels one would need, but it's ridiculous. The amount is ridiculous. I do think the record was left by Big One and Fairy though, just because they're the one running around with the uh, thing. Is Fairy wearing a golden armor? 
Uh, I can't see what's on his armor, though. Oh, thank you! Projectile three thorns! Oh, interesting. And looks like he's gonna take the break now to put on something a little bit more decent, maybe? Uh, we won't, probably won't be able to see what it is, though. But Protection 3 Thorns armor is actually kind of interesting because you do damage even when your opponents do damage. Oh, he's renaming his armor as well. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, nope. He renamed his armor. I don't even know what he renamed it as, but it <laughs> seems like he's really happy with his armor. So he's going to keep it. Protection 3. Uh, I wonder... If they found it somewhere, or like got it off like uh, a skeleton, maybe? Is he even carrying regular armor on him? Uh, I should check. Uh, no, I would definitely carry a regular armor on me if I were him. Angel really having trouble with mobs this time around. I don't know if it's a server, or maybe he just didn't have enough sleep. Um, remember kids, always make sure you get enough sleep. Sleep is very important. It's great. It's great for, yeah, Iron Man team. We, we totally didn't take any damage the entire time. <laughs> Ugh, a little bit of lag here for Chapter. He's got a lot of good books on him as well. Need some levels in order to put that bow. Oh, pardon me, together. I don't think he really needs unbreaking. Um, I think he just picked that up, right? Yeah, off the ground. He's gonna make a... He can put the powers together, if it makes another power book. But you really can't predict what you get there. <laughs> Fairy's weird, I don't even know what he's doing. Looks like that's an ender hunting little umbrella there. Some swamps for people to uh, participate in. Looks like everybody is still grinding away. Oh no, that girl is on the surface. Oh, you's on the surface. They're roaming around, trying to find what they find. Uh, the map is really large. I think it's like 1500 by 1500. So uh, there are signs of people. These trees are decaying. Oh, Flues is here! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, Flues not in the water, Flues! No, no, gotta get sniped, gotta get sniped! Oh no, Flues! This Flues has good health? Yes, he has been eating those apples as he makes them good Flues. Uh, they're on the trees, they're on the chase. Oh, you is booking it. No, he took a fall. Flues maker, you got this. You got this, just run. Do a last minute backstab at the end. Oh, you're so stacked, dude. You got this, Flues. Book it. This is the jackpot that. Oh no. Oh, you team really need this too. Oh, the jackpot is real. He got hurt so bad. It was so close. So close. And now, all the heals and all the gold in the world <laughs> goes to OU Book. OU at five now. At five. 61 gold, wow. Jeepers, diamond chest plate, projectile protection, all that armor. Going to Nico, and OU's gonna eat a lot of his uh, heals right now. Gonna put on some new pants, and wow. Let's go chat with Flues. Uh, switch over to, uh... Yo. Yes. Switch, hello? Hey. Are you talking hey. to somebody else? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. I was uh, finishing my episode up. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. And I was about to jump into yours, but like, I was saying, like, well, goodbye. Thanks for uh, watching. I got OU down to six, so you at did. least I'm, I, I cost him something to get all that gold. For sure. Because that's, that's, a, that's a stack of gold he, he inherits off me. Yeah, I was saying, like, anybody who finds Flues, will, it's Jackpot City. Uh, <laughs> especially when you're running around at, like, one heart for a long time. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no, I'm glad. I'm glad I managed first to he to heal back up with my own gold. Mm -hmm. uh, there's that. I'm glad I managed to do that because you know I would have I would have cried if someone had found me at at two hearts. <laughs> at, at two <laughs> and hearts like, and like a, a hundred gold. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. I would have I would have cried tears of blood. A tears, a real but man tears. That was tears. not the case. I managed to to heal up with my own. Uh, with my own gold, and <laughs> I, I, the toll that OU had to pay is basically <laughs> lose all his health. I would have actually killed him with a sharp three. Yeah. So I would have actually. I'm, I'm proud because, like, if he hadn't, if it wasn't for his much better gear, mm -hmm. I would have won that fight. So that that's also. That's yeah, also, for sure. It, it, it feels good in times of Did when you, you try die, and the only you reason the, you uh, the jump spam crits. Because you were underneath a tree, so I thought you were... When you're under a too high area, you can just spam jump yeah. and slash, and that will spam crit hits. Well, uh, no, the the idea was to do the... Um, uh, like, the, the the hitting technique, I had to jump to hit him a few times, so okay. I might have had a, a jump crit or two, that's uh -huh. possible. I'd have to recheck the footage at this point. Yeah. But the main idea was to give him the impression I was going to be running, and then uh -huh. quickly turn around in between the two trees... Uh -huh. And basically get the jump on him so I could get the first few strikes in, right. which is what happened. Yeah, that was good, uh, though. I don't think he was expecting you to do so much damage so quickly to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but, well, because once you get the combo in, you know, mm -hmm. things things start rocking. Right, exactly. But, yeah, had I... Had Unless, I, of course, I he has no knockback and you hit him three times, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. It was kind of a... I don't remember the Terran, but I think he couldn't have been knocked back very far <laughs> anyway, just because of blocks behind him that would have blocked anyway. Yeah. Um, but uh, in terms of the the knockback, in terms of uh, not being hit yourself until you know there's a little, you get the room to maneuver and land a few more hits. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I I fared well in that fight. I'm glad. How did you it's enjoy always, the uh, you know, game mode? Uh, it was hell. <laughs> I don't think anybody <laughs> had an easy time uh, doing no, I, managing. I, probably not. But I'm 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 not a um, I'm not a huge fan of the TSH uh, three Terran. Mm -hmm. And uh, though it, you know it, it it really mixes things up, so it's good once in a while. But in terms of um, it's not like the I w I was hoping I would be in Frost's uh, Terran and he'd be in mine <laughs> or whoever my teammate was would be stuck with the TAS. TSH. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, early on, I was next. I spawned next to a temple that I saw only after jumping down into the um, the lower part of the turn, uh -huh. and I didn't have anything to pillar back up. So I was wondering if someone looted that temple. You know, hmm, if no clue. Uh, people looted two temples. No clue. Oh yeah, you can't see the inventory in 1.8, right? I, I can see the inventory now, but. Um, I wouldn't oh, have you can? known. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> I, I wasn't really <laughs> jumping around too much in the beginning because uh, oh, okay. the world. Thing. Well, I if you see someone with TNT, you can sort of guess that. Yeah, they that's true. Probably looted the temple. True, true that. Unless they decide I'm not going to do TNT stuff, but I, it would be mm -hmm. hilarious to me to see TNT go down. <laughs> yeah. I wish. Any, I any, wish you could uh, anvil. I wish not right now. I wish you could anvil no. a knockback book onto. Um, a pair of flint steel. Huh? Because then, because then you can right click on a creeper and then left click to hit that creeper with the knockback. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, the creeper will yeah. explode because the right click uh, initiates the the trigger, the explosion, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would have been hilarious to me just to see some people just start hitting uh, creepers at each other. Would a um. Would a knockback flame sword, the fire aspect sword, have the same effect? No, the flame effect no. will not cause the creeper to guarantee explode, whereas right clicking right. on them with uh, flint and steel will guarantee that they will explode. Mm. But wow, Engel just getting mauled by mobs everywhere the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, poor Frost, though, hey? You guys ran from one team, yeah. he told me, and then you guys encountered another team, and then he just got shot. Yeah. Dead. We're we're pretty sure we saw Timon and Tommy on the other side of the mm -hmm. of the swamp. I have to trust uh, Frost's eyes for that one because I only saw people, but I couldn't see. Story I couldn't adds make up. out any names. Story the story checks it, out. It might add up. Yep. Yeah, the story checks and, out. And uh, who who actually did we meet on the other end? Uh, Zarky, Scope right? and Zarky, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Scope was the one who got the kill. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. You know, I, I because I uh, like we ran into them and I didn't even see them. Right, uh, and then you I bravely got, ran I away. I got knocked back uh, into off the cliff basically, oh, okay. and just ran the other way without even looking. So I don't even know. I, d I didn't even see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you bravely ran away. I caught away. an arrow, and ran like a like a like a coward. You ever watched the uh, Monty Python Quest for the Holy Grail? Oh yeah, the the, the song of Brave Sir Robin. Is yeah, one of my when danger reared his <laughs> ugly face, he bravely turned and. Hey, <laughs> though, mind you, picking your battle, living another day to 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 uh, try Did you see luck them another try battle. Did you try to sneak up on you? Well, that's the end of this episode, though. Uh, so catch you guys next time. Later. Say bye. Yeah.